for welcome back for this video we are going to be removing our slab bowl from the mold and then doing some smoothing okay and we're going to talk about the clay stage leather hard so um i made this bowl using soft slabs inserted it into this bowl and this bowl mold and now I am going to check to see if it is firm enough to just pop out of the bowl and how's that gonna look well I'm gonna take this I'm gonna put it upside down and it released what I have here is my bowl shape it's stiff and it's maintaining its shape Okay, so this is an example of what leather hard clay would look like. Okay, now, next thing I want to do with this is, um, it's not looking super great, but I want to clean it up and smooth it. So in order to do that, I'm going to get a sponge and a little bit of water, dip, and then I can just come through. I want to be supporting my bowl. And I'm just smoothing it, making it pretty. Spend some time doing this, make it delicate, make your work delicate. Um, and also you're gonna notice Oh, at least for mine, I have small cracks on the outer edge of this. So like right here, I have a little bit of cracking because the clay dried quickly there and it was a little thin. So I can come back and clean up those parts because we want these to look good. Uh, imagine if you're trying to sell it. I don't care if you're selling it for $5. $500, $5,000. If it's not smoothed on the sides, no one's going to buy it. Um, and you're probably not going to want to sell it. So just do it right. Make it look good. Give it that extra five, ten minutes of smoothing time just to clean things up. Make it look pretty. Turn on a little Netflix. Smooth out your pot. Listen to some music. Or actually, this is a bowl and have a good time. So here we go. I am smoothing, holding this side. I'm going to do some smoothing here. A little more smoothing, checking my work. Ooh, looking good. Looking good. I'm liking this nice smooth bowl. Smooth bowl. Um, I know. Hi, Baxter. Baxter says hello. Uh, this is a little thick right here, or I have a divot, not a divot, a dip. I'm going to call it a dip. I'm going to add a little clay to it, fill in that crack, see if I can smooth out other parts of this mold or my, my bowl, see how it looks. And then, I know Baxter, I know. Then I'm going to keep smoothing it. You can see a difference between when I first popped this out of the bowl of the mold to now. I'm gonna continue just to work at this a little bit, make it pretty. Yes, so pretty. And it's not totally perfect. Uh, it's nice because you can see that it was made by hand and there's little dips and imperfections in it, but it's been smoothed. It's not going to hurt you if it comes out of the kiln. If there's a sharp edge on it in this stage, when it comes out of the kiln, uh, if there's like a sharp edge on your clay. It will hurt you. So 
when it fires, it will just be like a hardened, sharp piece. You don't really want that when you're making a bowl or something that could be used. Okay, think about having it nice and functional. This is something that I could potentially use. I could give it away as a gift and I know that it won't harm anybody because the edges are smoothed out. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there for now. I'll tinker with it some more. But that's just to give you an idea how it looks when you smooth it out. Next video, adding.